Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are discussing about river training works. Let's start. River training works are defined as structures or planning which determines the flow of water in the river through different stages. What is objective of river training works? First, to provide a safe passage to the flood discharges without overflowing to the banks for protection of cultivated and inhabited areas. Second, to prevent out flacking of a work like bridges where or any aqueduct. To protect the river banks from heavy erosion and to improve the alignment by stabilization of the river channel. Next, to transport the bed and suspended sediment loads with a maximum efficiency. And to deflect the river away from the bank which it may attack. Next, classification of river training works. First, high water training works or training for discharge. High water training works are constructed for the purpose of quick disposal of maximum flood and to protect adjoining land against damage due to floods. It aims to provide a sufficient river cross section for stage passage of maximum flood. Second one is low water training works or training for depth. Low water training works undertaken with the primary purpose of providing sufficient water depth for navigation during a low flow period. Generally, spars are constructed to contract the width of channel and hence to increase the depth. And third one is mean water training works or training for sediments. Mean water training works undertaken with the purpose of providing efficient disposal of sediment load and bed load thus preserving the channel in good shape. It is the most important training of the three types. Next is methods of river training works. First one is marginal embankments or leaves. Marginal embankments are the earthen embankments which are constructed parallel to the river banks at some suitable distance from it. The embankment walls retain the flood water to prevent them from spreading into nearby towns. The alignment of leaves should follow the normal meandering pattern of the river. This is a picture of marginal embankments. Second is guided banks. Guided banks are the earthen embankments constructed for confining the alluvial river flow within a reasonable waterway and guiding it to a hydraulic structure such as where a barrage or a bridge so that there is a straight non tortuous approach to it. That's a picture of guided bank. So our next topic is groins or spars. It is a structure constructed transverse to the river flow. It extends from the bank into the river. They are also called transverse dikes. Let's see the functions of groins. First, to protect the river bank by keeping the flow away from it. To construct a wide channel for making the channel navigable. To train river along the desired course by attracting, deflecting or by repelling flow in the air. This is a picture of groins. Next is classifications of groins. First based on methods and materials. First one impermeable groins. It doesn't allow the flow of water through them and side slope varying between 2 is to 1 to 3 is to 1. Next is permeable groins. It allows a restricted flow of water through them. 
सेकेंड इज बेस्ड ऑन फांगशन्स फार्स्ट इज एट्रैक्टिंग ग्रोइंस ए ग्रोइंग हुईच टेंस टू एटैक रिवर फ्लो टूवर्ड्स द बैंक ऑन हुईच इट हेज़ बीन प्रोवाइडेड सेकेंड इज रिपेलिंग ग्रोइंस इट क्रिएट्स स्कर्स हुईच आर फॉर्मड ड्यू टू वर्टिकल एडिज द स्कर्स फॉर्मड आर एवे फ्रॉम द बैंक एंड नियर द हेड ऑफ ग्रोइंस नंबर थ्री डिफ्लेक्टिंग ग्रोइंस दिस चेंज द डिरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो विदाउट रिपेलिंग इट फोर्थ इज सेडिमेंट ग्रोइंस दीज आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड व्हेन देयर इज अ कंसिडरेबल अमाउंट ऑफ सेडिमेंट्स कैरिड बाय द रिवर दिस रिड्यूस द स्ट्रीम वेलोसिटी एंड अलाउ द सेडिमेंट्स टू डिपोजिट नेक्स्ट see some uh, special types of groins first is denhez t headed groins this groin is a special type of groin developed in india for protection of banks it comprises of ordinary groin with an extra cross groin at the head giving it t shape second is hockey shape groins these groins are provided with a curved head such as it look like a hockey stick next is cut off when meandering river develops very sharp horseshoe bends the land between successive peaks near the same bank of river is very much reduced if small cut is given to connect the peaks the water of the river will rush through the cut off and developed into a full fledged channel channel section the cut offs may be artificial or natural usually it is artificial so what is cut off if it is a river and it shows a very sharp horseshoe bend like this and what is cut off cut off is if we cut these sections so water will rush through this space this is called a cut off this is a picture of cut off cut off channel as we say next is revetment of banks it is a protection of boulders or concrete blocks to the river bank a flexible apron from the two of bank towards the river side also is provided bank revetment also exerts an attracting influence by drawing the river water towards it on account of deep scurs formed at the toe of the bank the river channel is always held permanently at the pitched banks is a picture of revetment of banks next is pitched islands this is an artificially created island in the river it may be made of masonry or earth embankment but pitched around on account of disturbances created by pitched placed in a series a deep river channel is formed and flow is diverted away from the bank the measure is not is not successful if the river is shallow and wide as covering velocities cannot be developed by the pitch islands so that's it for now Thank you for watching subscribe our channel and take care goodbye